Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 8th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as we've only had one M-class solar flare to report, and no large plasma filaments erupting or ejecting from the surface. No coronal mass ejections coming our way, but there was some heightened activity in the northern hemisphere. Coronal mass ejection seen on Lasco. This is showing the last three hours, 304 angstroms. A couple plasma filaments lifting from the surface, equatorial region. Looking at another light here, we have a coronal hole, which is developing equatorial, just in behind, pretty active sunspot. 3947. Amazing images here brought to you by Go 16 SUV solar ultraviolet imager. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy all this information and imagery shared. If you do, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. And again, no major solar flares have been fired our way, but we do still have active sunspot regions. And right now there are seven, and 3947 is still primed, ready to go. Space weather conditions currently, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected from the M-class solar flare earlier today. Solar winds are coming in at 408 kilometers per second. Showing here the minor X-class solar flare. Otherwise, pretty quiet. Solar proton flux is low. And geomagnetic activity sitting at about a KP 1.5. Space Weather Prediction Center showing here updated spiral. We had that small impact on the 7th. 6 in the 7th. But now we are in the clear. And there is no geomagnetic instability expected. ISWA space prediction spiral showing outgoing CME taking off towards Mercury. But again, that was in a northward fashion as something happened on the northwest region of our sun. And it is visible. LASCO 3 showing the cosmic event. Looking at tonight's aurora versus tomorrow's. Not much probability for sightings tonight. Lasco 3 showing the last 48 hours of imagery. Cosmic energies leaving our sun. Small CME detected taking off in a southward fashion. Right after the northward CMEs right there. This is all Lasco 3 brought to you by so Soho and NASA. Mixed here with daily events worldwide. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we've got a sh situation developing here. As we've had a very deep earthquake, the Fiji region, 4.5 magnitude, but 571 kilometer depth. We've also got a pretty large eruption at Vanuatu, Port Vila, the Abe volcano. Earthquakes, Papua New Guinea, as well as Central Indonesia. Notable 5.7 earthquake here, Southern Qinghai, China, 10 kilometer depth. There's been lots of activity at the Tibetan Plateau recently. Earthquakes continue at Awash, Ethiopia. Notable earthquakes here, Rec Jane's Ridge, 5.0, 4.7, and as well a 4.3, Haifin, Iceland. And then peculiar earthquakes here all along the coast of South America, 4.5 ranging to 4.7. Something brewing along the Nazca Plate, eerily quiet through Central America. And as well, United States looks quiet, but there's a lot of minor seismicity building, especially across the West and Pacific Northwest. 
Let's have a look at USGS as they're reporting 218 earthquakes the past 24 hours. That's slightly above average. Drake Passage here, most recent, 5.3 earthquake, way south of Argentina. But look at all the minor seismicity here, bubbling through Mammoth, Wyoming, north and west of Yellowstone, and as well into the Pacific Northwest, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Rainier. Yeah, Petrolia seeing minor seismicity as well up into the Juan de Fuca. We've got the devastating fires through California. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Let's carry on here with a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the world. Largest being the 7.1 magnitude earthquake, southern Tibet, China. But notable seismic unrest across the African plate and into India. And now with these recent earthquakes yesterday in the Marianas Trench, very deep, we're expecting something larger and shallower to follow, especially across the Pacific plate. Central regions north to the Juan de Fuca, on watch. You have been warned. Now let's have a look at satellite imagery here and heat signatures here as looking at the fire maps this is a huge fire in los angeles there's actually four out of control fires burning through northern los angeles through the pacific palisades looking at satellite imagery here throughout the day there was a system that came through bringing a little bit of clouds but noting here big dust plume coming off of mexicali and then the big plume of wildfire smoke coming out of just west of Malibu, Los Angeles, California. Tens of thousands of people have been evacuated. Thousands of people have lost their homes. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. This is truly devastating. And the conditions are not set to get any better. The winds will continue. Having a look at different satellite imagery here, you're able to see the hot spots as they were fired up throughout the day today. There are four major fires burning now. Three overnight and a new one burning today. And this is all along a heavy fault region. Multiple fault lines running under through all of there. So, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Again, this is not a good situation. It's about to get worse. Let's have a look at air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes. SO2 forecast here for you. Hawaii, Mexico, notable plumes coming out of the New Madrid and Alberta. Very interesting indeed. Kilauea volcano in Hawaii. And as well, the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa. Notable plumes coming out of there. Central Africa at the Niramiragongo and Niramiragira volcanoes. Big plume, new one today. So there must have been another large eruption at one of those volcanoes. The two of them that are right beside each other. Right now, there are five active and erupting volcanoes on the African continent. Ert the Ale being the most northernest. Having a look here. Vanuatu, Porvila, Aoba volcano. A notable plume coming out of Kamchatka as well. Multiple erupting volcanoes through that region, eastern Russia. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got low pressure system that's bringing a lot of the winds through California is going to be whipping through the Gulf states. Watch for extreme cold temperatures to follow in behind. Alberta Clipper moving in for midweek or for the weekend, I should say. And then multiple systems as forecasted here with daily events worldwide still are going to be pounding northern BC and Alaska. And at the same time, multiple systems affecting Atlantic provinces. Strong winter storm conditions brewing for Greenland. 
and the extreme cold temperatures are still forecast here for the next week or so. So stay warm, my friends and family. Overlooking Africa, Australia, still have a cyclone conditions and forecast here for northern Madagascar, but it's not going to make it across Madagascar this time. This forecast region, or sorry, this forecast model has it staying and grinding along the west coast of Madagascar. Extreme weather developing for Northern Territory of Australia as a pretty sizable cyclone is developing for the long range forecast. It will be grinding along the shorelines of Northwestern Territory and Western Australia. I also wanted to share here with you our upper level winds depicting our polar vortex. This is what it looks like right now. Upper level winds coming in at 362 kilometers per hour in the fastest regions. As a quick glance at our jet stream right now, as we are in winter 2025, and yeah, it's cold outside, but it's hot and it's very dry along the West Coast, California. Much love and thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there, everybody worldwide, affected by natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanoes, wildfires, space weather events. It's all connected, my friends and family. And I thank you so much. I'm truly grateful that you are here watching. So thanks for watching. Stay weird and prepared. Stay